Evening, everybody. Radio here. It is 6.59, almost 7 p.m. on a Friday night. I'm going to do some streaming of some space engineers. Hope everyone's doing great. I am doing fantastic. They will post it in its entirety on the channel overnight tonight, so probably available over the weekend to, to watch if you didn't manage to catch the stream. So we're going to jump into it at 7, and we'll go for two hours. I've got a little bit of a layout for our personal quarters. I have a cryopod put in place, and I would like to try to figure out what's wrong with my um, connections between everything that's communicating up in the refinery area, assemblers, and the cargo containers. All right, let's get started. Continue. Here we go. Text Viper, hello, hello, good evening. Up for some space engineers tonight. Do some building, maybe some uh, some mining. Ah, here we are. So I, I got started on kind of a little bit of a living quarter for us. And of course the catwalk's going to go off an extra block on this here. So we'll have a two wide area here to walk along. I figure we'll have a door here and a door over on this side. This side, I don't know what we're going to put over here. This is going to be kind of building for our drill ship at the moment. Uh, but then we'll, we'll figure out what we're going to do. Unknown signal... Oh, that's very close. How's my hydrogen? Uh, I'm pushing tab to go in my inventory. I've got two bottles of it. Uh, and I've got a bunch of stuff on me, too. Let's see if we can get that uh, signal. It's been a long time since I've gone after a signal. Going here, just jumping on. Hope everyone is doing fantastic tonight. Let me know if there's any problems with the viewing of the video. This is the first time I'm streaming at the new house first time. How's everything sound and how's everything look? Oh, unknown signal is literally right here. You bugger you. We'll get that engine. That engine's like no juice left in it. Ha! Gotcha. I win. <laughs> Button. Ooh, the rainbow drill. Special. Okay, stop rolling. Stop rolling. There you go. Holy cow. Yeah, I've been taking apart one of these guys in a while. Looks and sounds great, Viper says, so I am very pleased with that. Thank you for the feedback. I appreciate it very, very much. Indeed, I do. There's a guy currently out at my pool uh, doing some last-minute cleanup work on it, so it's ready for being uh, replastered tomorrow, oh, which is exciting. Variety and I just learned while we are eating dinner here that uh, the first four weeks of a pool's uh, new basically skin being put onto it you've got to be really careful with everything so it's gonna be up to me to keep the chemicals in balance although these guys did say they were going to kind of help us uh, reopen the pool once that happens once they're done with this it's part of their job to make sure the pool is uh, you know fit the plaster cures look at all these little pieces on here I love all these little drones. They're really fun. I think it's cool how they uh, show up with stuff for you. They're a little inspirational, so you get some ideas. Look at that, man. We've got some stuff. Awesome. We've landed. Oh, I put up a little bit of a wall around our station right here. Uh, I thought we could add something else to it, but I thought that was kind of cool. It gives it kind of an idea, you know... If someone were out here causing trouble, you'd have a bit of a barrier between you and where that chair sits. And it gives a little extra support to the staircase that's going up there. It's not just hovering in the middle of nothing right there. Uh, let's go ahead and drop this stuff off into here. That's, you know, that's, that's some pretty good loot. I'm pretty happy with that stuff. I grabbed it. Okay. Viper, we're going to hopefully some more folks show up that know how to play the game. I don't know if you, maybe you do know how to play the game. 
Um, but I, I just don't know what to do about my connections. My refineries were full. They're not full anymore. We've got space in both of them to hold more material, so they're not full. But apparently they're not communicating with each other properly. So that's something I would like to look into. Somebody said I need a sorter. Uh, I, I think that my problem is somewhere between the fact that stuff is pumping into this first refinery here and then it doesn't spill over into the second refinery. Whatever's excess just goes right to the cargo container. And this refinery is, is not pulling from something? I, I'm not sure. I'm not sure about that. I need to grab, uh, let's see, let's grab stuff so we can build some walls. Let's build, let's get, you know, that's, that's a bit much. That's a bit much as well. We needed some bulletproof glass and I believe some construction components. Then we can get busy on all these walls. You're learning it too, huh? Okay. Do I want this to be white or do I want this to be green? I think I want the living quarters here to be white. Oh, girder. There's a storm of brewing. Uh, it, it's hard to tell when there's a storm happening because the sky stays clear, but then you can hear the thunder and lightning and stuff in the background. It's kind of weird. So I feel like if we have this set up this way and this color, it makes it stand out from the rest of the base that this, op this building here has got a little bit of different operation going on with it. Small steel tubes. Uh, let's go ahead and do that. Mouse wheel click. Gives me what I need for that. Oh, Tex, you, you and I both. This is this is definitely a learning curve for me. Tex Viper is saying how he's uh, finding it a very uh, challenging to learn the game. And it is. I'll tell you what's always thrown me off a little bit about this game is that there is such a dedicated and um, awesome community that surrounds this game. That I always feel like, you know, if I play it, I'm going to look like a fool. Because <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Let's uh, go ahead and click on that real quick. Grab a few more pieces and parts. But I'm willing to keep going because I do. I've, I've played Space Engineers or tried to a few different times. And each time I get to about this point, interest drops off and then I never make it to space. And I'm hoping that's going to be different this time around. I think this wall back here should be the green, though. Uh, and then P, and then the dark green. I want to get our living quarters uh, installed. Steel plate. Okay, so let's go like that. Look at four of those. Uh, I can believe I could do this right from here. There we go. The build planner is a huge help. Thank everybody who told me about that one. Oh, and also, let me let me get this last. That's the last of them right there, huh? Okay, these are turning out white. Oh, I must have built them white. Gotta take these blocks completely out. And then that one didn't paint at all. It's not built all the way yet, though. Now they should be green. There we go. But that one, no, huh? There we go. Okay, so this back area here can be can be that. I don't know if this is where it's going to be. This is our cryo chamber. Check this guy out. He's cool. He's uh, doable. Medical components needs just three. Let's hit my coffee real quick. The great thing about this guy is... Boom. Oh, if I get in him, if I get in him, there we go. It takes care of my H, my O, my, <laughs> my energy for my suit, as well as my hydrogen. Fills them up. Now I don't know if it fills up the ones in my inventory, but maybe it does. But you can sit in here. You can actually look around in this cryopod, which I think is amazingly cool. I can almost see down. I can see my boots in here, but this is the cryopod. So we've got this guy now, and we've got our area to change our clothes in the medical station here. And we can pump up with this guy right here as well. So I thought all this stuff kind of together made a little bit of sense to me, and I thought it would be kind of cool. Close our doors. 
Look at that. I love that. That is so cool. Okay, so... Maybe the pipes stay outside the building and we stay and everything else is on the inside. I, which side of this is this on? This is on this block right here. So we need to spin this around. And like that. There we go, just like that. The second second level can be solid. Uh, I think I have to go outside. I had to get creative with the walls because of just how you can't share space with another block. There we go. What's the matter? What's the matter with you? What's the matter for you? Good evening. How are you? But a while back, you had to use the cryopod to keep your inventory from disappearing after log out and log in. Huh. Hopefully they got that fixed. Pamphy, hello. Subscribe to Tier 1. They've subscribed for nine months. Thank you, Pamphy, very much. Okay, so that's interesting. I, you know, they've been working really hard on this game. I mean, I know I've been playing it, but I follow it. I follow Keen Software a lot because of the fact that I played, you know, Medieval Engineers for such a long time. Is that the right side of that block, or is that on... That is the incorrect side of that. We need to go out here and put this in over here. Uh, number seven. Unknown signal. Maybe we'll go get another one. I wonder if I should do a different kind of block above the door. Something that's got a little more representation to it. Hmm, I don't know. Am I on the right level with that? He's still plates. Okay, so let's go right click. Like six times or so. That works. Come over here. Middle mouse will click in case you guys don't know how the build planner works. It's super handy. Um, you're supposed to be white, and I don't have you as white. Ah, oh, jeez. I guess I could, you know, I could just build them and, and change the paint color that way, huh? Let's just do that. It's my fault. I, ma I made a mistake there. Let's just do this. Sorry. So sorry. I'll just put these back. We'll just do them up like this, and then I'll repaint them after it's done. Nope. 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 There we go. And you right there. It's. <laughs> Messing with me, block. I put it wrong again. Turn my light on so you guys can see. I want to just paint them white. We'll just paint them white after we're done here. Do that. I could leave them green too. I think I'm just going to kind of go with a flat roof here. There we go. You talk about the design? The, the, the design? Sometimes it's easy to get the design going the weird ways. Come on now. So it's it's kind of exciting. I'm hoping that uh, in a few days we'll be able to actually use our pool again, which could be cool. And one more. I guess I better do these guys too, huh? One. I 
And now these are white. <laughs> it's alright. I'll paint everything the right way. Don't worry. Alright, that's, that's actually... Yeah, I want these to be... The white color. Uh, give me just give me give me a block to look at here that I can actually look at. There we go. And I like this white. It's a little off white, which is cool. I'm gonna you know what? I'm gonna go and paint this white too. Hmm. I'm going to have to go outside to do that one, it looks like. Let's see. It would rain right now, just as we get started. Like that right there. Awesome. And, oh, we got one more right here to do. And I probably should put a few catwalks. Oh, goodness gracious, I fell right off the building. We need a safety rail there. There we go. Okay, so the other thing I wanted to take a look at right here. Let's go back to G. I want to try to do a little bit of all this stuff with you guys tonight. Catwalk. Uh, we're going to need, I think the catwalk actually has multiples in it. Number seven. So if I do this guy here, I can't do that guy there because of the fact that I have that block right there. <laughs> so I need something here to attach to. Now I thought what if we could do is this, 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 and this. And that takes me all the way out there. And then what we do is we do the single rail here, but I think what we should do is probably put that there, there, and there. Seems like an awful lot of catwalk for this area, but I think it'll work out pretty good. And then, what do we got here? We got that. Hmm. I want this to face... No, not that way. This needs to go this way. After this right here. In the meantime, let me kind of figure out how I want to get this to go over on this side. We'll work on this side first. Um, okay, so... If I go... Nope. Jeez. I guess if I go like that, I'm, I'm, I'm getting what I want here. Sort of. Why am I not seeing this? It's not like me to not see these things here. You know what? I know exactly what it is. I'm trying to be a little too much with it. Give me, let's just let me try this one more time here, and then uh, you guys won't be quite so irritated. I'm gonna do. Well, this guy has to go here. No, I need. I need the opposite direction of this. What am I looking for? I'm not seeing the piece that I'm looking for here. I guess it would be this guy. And then back to just the plane. Spin that around, do that, and then I need to go back to this guy, like so. No. And 
There we go. <laughs> Got it. There we go. I knew I'd get it. Now I should be able to build this off of here. Like so. And I need another flat one, plain one here. So what do I need for these guys? Small steel tubes and construction components. Get a click on that. Oh, the rain is stopping. That's nice. Let's see how this looks. Seeker OS, thank you. It's good to be streaming. It's our first time. Bean Babini. Hello, good evening. That looks right to me. Here you gotta decide which way you're gonna go with the pattern though. Is each one of these going to be looking like an access out to that right there, or are they supposed to, is this supposed to continue on at this angle all the way through here? That's what you have to decide you want to do. There's talk that maybe I've got these going in the wrong direction here. It's it's quite possible. We're working on our living quarters and then of course a little bit of the catwalk here to see how it looks. So comments of last episode, thank you for them. It, somebody had said that if you have too many lights going on, that it could cause lag in your game. It seems like that's an, always an issue. It, uh, I guess it's, I should say it seems like it's an issue a lot of times in games. And then we're actually going to go, this is going to be an expensive catwalk. Need construction components. Okay. Let's grab a few of those. Um, construction components. You know what? I don't know why I'm carrying this gravel around. I'm going to throw that in there and get it out of the way. We're going to need some more... I don't think we need bulletproof grass glass at the moment, but we can take a couple more hundred of those. Let's grab uh, another hundred girders, and we need the construction components. There we go. I think we're good. And then, let's get these put together. Small steel tubes. Story of my life. Small steel tubes. It's the story of, well, of my life. I kind of like to get a chunk of this put together so everybody's got a little bit of an idea as to where I'm headed with it. And then I'll work a little more off camera probably later tonight on it. I thought the storm was over. See that blue sky? <laughs> it's storming. It's so weird. Cannot withdraw 14 small steel tubes. Uh-oh. What's going on? Am I out of tubes? Looks like I am out of small steel tubes. That is just fine and dandy. We'll make 300 of those. Those are popping off right now. How's everybody doing over here in chat this evening? We've got 12 viewers. Thank you so much for being here. 24 minutes into it. I'm still up in the air as to when this whole streaming thing is going to become more of a... You know, guaranteed thing. When it's going to really happen every time. Because it's just so much stuff. Like I said, there's somebody at my house. I mean, it is uh, almost 7.30 at night. And there's a guy working on my pool right now outside. I notice people here in Phoenix area, it's so hot that they're here super early in the morning or they come in the evening after this, when the sun starts to go down. Do I have some pipes being made here? Where are my pipes? There they are. There they are. Beautiful. Okay. Beautiful. Got some pipes. Some pipage. All right. And then down here, what we're going to do is uh, number seven. There he is, right there. Like that. Put him on here. That gets us all the way down to the battery. This is also going to give us some structure along the edge of the base to beef this area up. It's not going to be just these skinny posts going up and down on the ground. It's going to have some, you know, it's going to have some, uh, some beef to it. Number seven. Uh, we'll 
go with the graded catwalk. Pop it like that. And then we're going to go back to the one banger here. This gives us a little extra room off the edge here, too, for some fun. And this should be our normal catwalk, like so. And then I need a normal one here. Oh, we got to put that there and that there. Let's put that there and that there and that there. We're that much closer to being done with the whole thing. God, I got to tell you guys, the building on here has been a lot of fun. It has been a lot of fun. There's some amazing things people have built with this Energy game, too. Low. It's unbelievable, some of the stuff that's been built. I just... my jaw drops open on it. It's really cool. Cloudy and cool out here is his seeker. Yeah, not here. I think it was 102. I think it's supposed to be like 104, 105 over the next few days. Shoop! Out I go. Out of my cryo chamber I go. We are. We're going to bring this all the way down to the end, and at this point in here, I'll figure out what I want to do. Uh, no, that's the wrong one. Where are you? There you are. Boom, just like that. Okay, we got that. Back to the plain one. Oh, you know, I guess I could... Oh, you know what I could have done is this guy right here. Oh. Hmm. What do you think, guys? See, we could do this one, too, and just bring it straight out, and I'm at the battery right there, and I would save a bunch of materials on the sides of this. Huh. And then these guys here would be the bars. Now, i got to be careful because they're all holding on to that one right there. So, this guy's, these guys are actually not holding on to anything. Let's do a little bit of this real quick and see what it looks like. Is that going to be enough? I think it is. Oh, I think I like that. That could be good. This could be better. I need the square. That could be better, huh? And then we'll add a little something. Seekers hitting triple digits next weekend. Uh, triple digits, man, I tell you. You know, we were in, we were living in Flagstaff, Arizona, which is on on a much cooler cooler side. Uh, you know, 80s in the summer. You know, snow in the winter. All that kind of stuff going on. A lost one but now um, well we're now we're in the summer we've been in, we were inside kind of stuck inside all winter and then we moved right at the end of winter to Phoenix area and now it is um, <laughs> now we're at the opposite spectrum we're, we're inside because it's so dang hot you can't be outside that's why we got the pool though the pool's nice uh, and then spin that around, okay. Oh my god, we're building the catwalk. I did not expect this tonight, but I thought, you know what? Since we're getting the living quarters put together, we should probably figure out what we're going to do along this edge here, too. I, I probably should put a few supports up underneath this, underneath, uh, down below there. Yeah, I'm going to take all that down. This is going to be much better. Now, question. Should that one go straight into the platform here? Or should it turn and go the same direction as this edge that's along here. Should it follow this direction or this direction? I 
Thank you. I've been having so much fun building. It took me forever to drill that hole got next to us over here. I, I don't know, four hours or more when I drilled the, the mine hole? It took me forever to do it. But it was really fun to just spend some time with pistons and drills and get familiar with them. Small steel tubes, huh? I like that. Oh, oopsie! Well, let's cl let's clean this up. Yeah, that looks good. I like the white catwalk too. That's nice. Kind of sets it off. Okay, so white and green are pretty much the colors we're going with here. Obviously, we'll have some other ones too. We we bound to have some other ones. Gonna, let's get the rest of the light put in place, and then we'll worry about, um, you know, putting them together. Yeah, that's going to look really cool. I've been so happy with just the base building that I've kind of forgot about even building ships, just because it's so fun. Construction components, of course, just as I go to build again. Out of construction components. Uh, production. Nope. Inventory. Construction components. Construction components are here. We'll grab another hundred of those. Yeah, yeah, ah. Okay, we're right here. Okay, I gotta be careful about this so things don't fall out from underneath me here. Oh, 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 wait, 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 wait. I'm gonna lose a lot of stuff here. You know what? That was actually fine. That would have been fine because it was hanging on with that one there, but let's let's take it out. Okay, I got a lot of parts in me. Let's go ahead and get some of these installed. Bam. So I have these, um, a couple of big, I got a tall Darth Vader Star Wars figure, and I got a tall Stormtrooper, uh, figure as well, and then I have a smaller, um, Boba Fett. He says, like, three or four different things. He's no good to be dead, is one of the things he says. And, um... I've got them in the uh, kind of the dis little display cases you walk through the door. People love them. <laughs> it's supposed to be for something, you know, fancy or whatever you do, you know. But uh, I've got those guys in it, and everyone's, I think, kind of surprised to see them in there. Let's go back to seven again. And, yep, you're going there. And we've got you here. And then you, like that. Something else I learned after last episode, and thank you for your patience on it. Again, I am new to the uh, space engineer's realm, so hopefully I get a little bit of leeway for that. But there is a um, T, the letter T. If you can turn T on, you can turn T off. When I was struggling with the placement of these beams and the the design kept flipping around on me. If I had turned off T, then it stops it from doing that. It stops it from flipping around. So my question is, why do we need the T to begin with? Why is it even there if you just turn it off because you don't use it? What is that key good for? Okay, so we got that. That is, that is my question. There must be a reason for it. Man, this is going to be sexy like this no that's the wrong one. Oh, 
I had it. I had it, then I moved it. Uh oh. Oh, thank God that didn't fall down. Whew. Okay. Gotta be careful here. We don't want to be knocking our power out. And the regular. I had no idea this was going to take this long to do. There we go. Where are you? Okay, and there, and there, there. Maybe I, yeah, end it right here just like I did the last one. Right here. Just like that. T removes like the reset of the block when you're building something in, in that's got this. You see the pattern that's in these these guys right here. When I was building with him the other day, every time I kind of got off track, it would reset the block to the very beginning, and I'd have to find the correct direction for it to travel. If when I'm building something like this, where I have a bunch of these in the same row, if I turn off the letter T, uh, you can see it in the bottom of the screen there. It lights up at the bottom in the middle. If I turn that off, it should stop the block from resetting itself whenever I make a small mistake or, you know, jetpack too far one way or the other. It'll just keep it on track, which is very handy. So what my question is, is why do we need it the other way at all? Um, I, I guess that way you've, you've got the block in its true position at the very beginning every time. Go and we could probably grab you, grab you. Uh, oh, the steel tubes are running out of those guys again, huh? Uh, either that, or I've got too many girders in my inventory. Too much other weight. Nope. It looks to me like I might be out of small pipes again. Got those guys going up again. I have 72 pipes on me. What am I short on here? I don't understand what I'm short on. Nothing. Now I'm short of tubes. Let's just grab those tubes back. Yep. So, Viper, let me ask you this. Are you enjoying playing it? The challenge of figuring out how things work and so on. I was talking about, you know, there is a, a very strong community for this game and how it, it can be a little intimidating to try to do videos on it, especially when you're such a noob. I feel like people are, are pretty nice, though, in the community. They seem to be very, very nice. Cannot withdraw four small tubes. Energy Say it ain't so. Construction components. Let's, uh... Let's right click that, that, and that. We'll see if we get enough stuff for that. We'll grab it first and jump in the cryo tube, refill ourselves up. It ain't so. It ain't so. It's this bean beanie. Beanie beanie. Ba beanie ba beanie. Fo beanie. You guys enjoying your summer so far? So far, so good. Oh no, I'm out of 
tubes again. I've used all of them again. Apparently, I need to pay attention to just how many of those I need each time. So let's go ahead and do a thousand of them. Since we keep running out. Is this where I left off? It's all welded. Small steel tubes and girders. All that good stuff. This is pretty nice. I like this. This is good. This is good. Got ourselves a nice catwalk around the place. Just off the edge. That's cool. Oddly out here, it's been cooler than normal, which is a nice change. We know it'll heat up, though, Seeker says. Seeker, where are you at? Can you give me a state or country? We get kind of an idea. I'm in Arizona. Cannot withdraw 18 construction components. 18. Okay, hold on. What? Uh, let's see. Let's see what's going on in my inventory here. Construction, construction. I am out of construction components as well. So let's go ahead and get a thousand of those going. We're probably going to have to run the drill tonight to get some uh, materials going again. Where are... Oh, did I grab those pipes already? There they are. Bam. Got them. Oh, it was construction components too, huh? Oh, I'm pushing the wrong button repeatedly. North Central California, huh? Okay. That is weird for you guys to be kind of cool up there. I know. I think Northern California is a much cooler than the Southern California area, but uh, hmm. I wish we had something coming through. It got a little bit cloudy today, but it didn't do anything at all. I need to just push this. Uh, the construction components is what I'm held up on now. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. Uh oh. Let's go to production. Let's go ahead and move these guys over a little bit. We'll get some of those guys going too. Uh, we need a bunch of those. I don't even know if I have a lot of material in here. I'm, I'm assuming I do. This one's almost full. This industrial assembler is just about full of material. This industrial assembler number five is full. See, 4,000, and I... I don't know what to do about that. Can I go to production and... Oh, I could go to... Oh, I could do to number five. Oh, I see what I could do. I could tell it to make the other part. Oh, my God. Okay. And then, yes, you just make those. Oh, he's learning. Look at this. I'm learning. I didn't see that drop box before. Awesome. So now the other assemblers work. He's got ton. He's got, well, he's got a bunch of iron in him anyways. Northeast Texas is cooler than normal as well. Lucky dogs. Well, I guess this last week, you know, it's the desert. I mean, that I'm living in now. It was about 95 to 100 degrees every day. And it'll just continue to do that for quite some time. I think it's like late September, October area when things really start to cool off and it's the best time down here. Arc on the Drugan. The Drugan. Uh, yeah, somebody said I needed separate inputs, outputs for these guys. So I was wondering if what I need to do is. Do I need to put a T-junction on top of both of these right here and a T-junction on top of my cargo containers and then run the piping down the side of it to each of these so they all have, there's like an individual line for one side and an individual line for another side. I don't know that. Or do I bring this up and I attach it to here 
I, I don't know. I, I need to. I need a little more uh, explanation as to how I'm supposed to do that. So uh, I'll I'll be thinking about that one. How to do it? In the case you guys know, that would be great to uh, inform me here uh, in the stream. The drills I kind of worked out on my own. Just to kind of drill that hole back there. I just don't want to lose material because there's no place for it to go. Oh, something else I wanted to tell you guys too. Throughout the play so far, uh, each episode, you don't see it in the video, but I see it when I'm playing. And there's there's kind of this um, blurry line that runs through the middle of the game. It's just this weird, almost like a watery, blurry line. And then when I welded, I noticed there was um, some oddities to the screen as well. I went into... Uh, options. I went into display today and I turned on the vertical sync and that seems to have removed all of that. Which was really nice because now I, I don't have either one of those things going on in my screen where it was starting to kind of ruin the immersion for me a little bit. Can he do it? Does he have the parts he needs to do all of it? We don't know. We don't know. Ooh, apparently so. Uh, the V-Sync is on. I thought about screen tearing as well, but it didn't seem to be that was the case. There. Oh, we missed a whole. S <laughs> Wait, it's typical of me. <laughs> missed a whole bunch of stuff. Hold on. Oh my god. Cryo chamber time, people. Quick, quick little snooze. The master chief is in his cryo chamber. I love that thing. It's nice. Thank you for that comment. It was it's nice to be able to get everything taken care of at once. Oh, I already did this once, didn't I? There we go. All components. Look at there. Oh man. We're getting a proper base put together here. Now how do I want to Do I want to go above this and do one more height? Or do I want to end it right here? Let's get rid of the catwalks. We'll leave the glass window there. And it's this panel right here that I've been using. I can easily take this guy up here. Where, where is he? Oh, hmm. I'm not going to be able to do that right in there. What if I do... If I do this... That's not going to work, though. I may have to rework some of this in this area here. I could pop that one there. Enable place light armor panel. If I do that there and that there, then I could do it because it's got something to grab onto. Oh my god, what are the odds of me landing right there? <laughs> 
Uh, off topic, but I remember the asteroid base you did on Imperion. Thought that was cool. Thank you. I that was my favorite season of Imperion. We built the um, uh, Firefly. We, bought, we built Firefly, and then we were living on an asteroid. And I'm hoping I get to an asteroid here too. I'm kind of moving slow here because I really probably could be there by now. Somebody said I could just take some hydrogen tanks and oxygen tanks and just jet myself straight up into space and I could be there if I wanted to be. I don't want to go through that. I want to kind of learn the game. And as I mentioned with the, the mods, I don't want to put any mods on right now because I'm trying to just learn the basic function of the game at the moment and enjoying that without having to throw a bunch of mods on and, and, and trying to learn that way. Uh, I need to go to the P. I need to go to P. And I need to do that right there because that is ugly. So what kind of a roof am I going to put on this dang thing here? Um, we could end the roof. What do we got here? We got that right there. I was thinking we could end the roof right here. We could do kind of a roof thing that goes up and comes down. All depends on what we've got going on with the pipes, though. The pipes is what it is. I think a lot of people like to put them in the ground so they come up underground and attach to all your devices. I really want them visible because I think they're just so cool looking. Hmm. I'm not sure. Let's take a look at our blocks real quick. There's quite a few different ones in here. There's an angled panel in this one, which is pretty nice. I think those pipes are going to probably cause me a bit of a problem, though. And I just feel like it's going to. And the fact that I'm on the... Well, I'm on the outside of this block. I'm on that block right there. And I'm on... Let's see. Yeah, see, I'm not on this block here. So I'm on the inside of this one and the outside of that one. So I could use this whole wall to put stuff along. I've got the wrong. I'm just looking to see. Is there a way to get that to snap up there? It needs something to, to like, attach to. Oh, I had it there. I'm just wondering if I could do this sort of a thing here. And then if I did something like that right over here, too... Oh, no, come on, stay up here. Like that. Can I fit another one of those over here? Spin him around. Where's my square? All those choices, isn't that cool? Awesome. No. I tell you. It's hard to get these blocks to behave. I don't quite know how they work just yet. You're going to sit right on there? Yeah, you are. There you are. There you go. Now we could do something like that. Let's get back down the floor here and take a look up and see. If I do that, then I'm basically going to be cutting everything off of here all the way across. And then we'll probably do some sort of a wall down here. Or even... Is there just a plain door well? You don't have a plate even. I think that using the plates as walls will bite you in terms of options. You don't have a plate 
that allows for a conveyor pipe connection. These walls will bite you. The plates. You don't. You don't think the wall. The plates are going to work as a as the ceiling, huh? And the walls. That would be the right one right there. Let's see what happens here. Hmm. I have this wall on the wrong side of the block. Otherwise, it would fit in there just fine. Let's go, um... Hello? <laughs> there we go. If I do that like that... Oopsie. What about right there? This block is sitting like one line off. It should be coming up and sitting on this side here. I think there's another way I could do this and get it around. These guys are sitting on the right side. They're sitting on the right side there. It's nothing too fancy. It's just to it's just to have something to get used to the blocks with. God, I feel like I really need to What do I do? What do I need to do here? This is sitting on the inside of this right here. I'm sitting on the inside of that. Okay, so then this means this block, these blocks here are all one spot wrong. I think that's the case. Take this out. Let's see what happens here real quick. I'm going to have to lose this guy here, I think. Number seven. Now if I take... Where's that big guy? There he is. No. Nope. Yeah, I can't have this here now. See, just that one, that one little gap right there is what's going to make a difference here. Now, that... What will I do if I take and put the... Ooh, you know what I can do? I know what I can do. I can swap this out for a block right here. That would work. We could still get down the stairs. We're going to have to move this light. Like that. we got to get rid of him. And we're going to put this guy in here. Right there. And then I need to grind all this stuff down. Oh, see this here? Just take plates to the outside wall right about the window and doorway blocks. Might have a thin gap. I think if I move this out, just the one, I think I'll be fine. It should clean all that up. I love these doors, by the way. Wow, that's quite a door. <laughs> Dang. 
That is one impressive door. Love it. Okay, we do that right there, and then you're actually going to have to come out of there too. Oh, wait, before we do this, no, we need a different block here. Number four. There we go. This guy is the one I want. I got that in the right place? Yes. I think that will allow me to come down here. Yes, it does. Okay, perfect. There we do. We do that right there. And now we put our walls in. And we're going to want to turn these back to the white. And we need to... There we go. That's actually the wrong block there. I want a window block here. That's still on the wrong side there. Am I have I gone too far? Is that what I'm I'm doing? I've gone I've gone too far, haven't I? Need to go right there. Yeah, that looks right. And then we need to get you back. There we go. There we go. That's what I... Okay, perfect. I, just, I went too far over here. Just a little too far. Just too far. There we go. And we're going to do that there. And then we're going to do our door, which is the off-centered one. So I need the off-centered. Hold on, hold on. Oh, for Pete's sake, radio. What are you doing? Like that? Let's get filled up. Oh, my energy's not up yet. There it goes. Got to give it a second, huh? Just a second. How's our um, ice doing? 6.03. We're doing great. So sorry. I put you in the wrong place. Try that again. Uh, big square. There we go. Okay, that is looking a little bit better. I may change this part around here that goes up to the machinery. We could actually end this right here, which is what we're probably doing, isn't it? We're kind of ending this. Um, we're kind of ending this right here. Now, I wouldn't mind having a little doorway right in here if there's a cheapo door. Is there a cheap door that I could build to put in there to block that off? And now I'm wondering if maybe what I do is I do this. I don't know if that's going to work. That does work. That blocks all that off and gives us... Well, we're going to have to do something right there. What if I put a full block in there? Why are you unable to place the light armor block? Hmm. Why won't it place a block right there? Hmm. 
That's got me a little bit baffled. So we can do this. This is let's get finish getting this all put together here real quick. I keep saying real quick, and there's nothing fast about what I do. do that one right there, and back to seven. Right there, and then... You guys are all lined up okay, right? Yeah, you are. Okay, and then we could do our... There we go. I'm looking for a place for us to get out of the out of the weather. And up here, I'm just going to go with a flat roof. I wonder if I should use Oh, I wonder if I should use glass. Windows 2x3 flat. Windows 1x1 flat. Let's see that. Okay, so that's the tinted side. Which means we're not going to be able to see out, right? There's a tinted side and an untinted side. This is untinted right here. Better for an hour and seven minutes. Let's give it another whirl here. We want tinted in or tinted out? I don't think it really matters, does it? Too much? Yeah, what are we going to do about this back in here? Get ourselves a gaping hole that needs to be fixed. This doesn't look quite right, this block right here. It's a little unusual at the corner here. I guess it's lined up, we just don't have the other block around it yet, and that's why it looks weird. Maybe. Awesome. Any Minecrafters in the audience tonight? 1.19 comes out on Tuesday. I'm going to start my own personal world. I'll record some of that as well. They finally got the one update finished up, so I'm like looking forward to it. Seekers now played since 1.17. I've tried at 1.16 and 1.17 to start a world and record it and then each time I'm like oh so this is what's coming with the next update maybe I'll just wait until the next update so that's where I'm at with 1.19 which is the deep dark and the uh, the wild update so I think that's a good place for me to jump in they've done so much to the game since I played it um, God, I played it religiously for like six years I swear to you guys I played it for six years straight didn't play any other game out there none it ruled me. It was just one of the very first games that I could go play and do whatever I wanted to, and nobody told me anything. 
if I was doing it right or wrong or anything, and I just love that to death so much. Um, because I don't need anybody to tell me how to use my imagination, you know? Okay, this doesn't look quite right here. This is popped out and not sitting up against that one right there. Hmm. Well, you really gotta be careful when you're placing these guys to make sure they are lined up correctly. You really do. I don't get it. It looks like it's right. This one's not right over here. I started out wrong over here. There we go. That one's right now. And that one should be right. There we go. Just that little gap. It's just a small gap, but you can definitely see it. You just got to pay attention for it. And it's, it's you know, that's something I'm going to miss probably on a regular basis. Just not notice it. Okay, then what do I need for this stuff up here? Bulletproof glass, 25 pieces each. It's alright, I'm good with that. Oh, let's, you know what, I got an idea. Where are the ones I did already? It's these guys right over here. Oh, now any spaceships flying over can look right into my room. <laughs> See what I'm doing in here. Hi. I think there's a way to flip blocks, right? Oh, ouch. <laughs> just like in the real world, you just can't walk into walls. I don't know if you guys do it, but I do it all the time. I feel like I've got these ghostly abilities, and I cut corners way too close. <laughs> uh, yes, yeah, Seeker is uh, confirming that it's better to make the fixes now than wait until later. I know. I am a little bit danger prone when it comes to this stuff. Okay, what do we got going on in here now? We've got we've got a walls and door. It'd be nice to have a little something that came back here for repair. Uh, let's go to our blocks and see if there's something we can do. Do you guys mind if I get up and go? Uh, I need to swap out my coffee real quick. It's gotten a little bit cooler. Uh, let me let me set you on a let me go on the cryopod. I, I understand this is the best place to go AFK. Is the cryopod? So I'm going to sit in here for just a second. Let me run in and get some more coffee, and I'll come back, and we will go for another 45 minutes here. All right? Missing a railing for the mine stairs. Right. Right. Exactly. All right. Thank you, Pam. Give me one second, and I'll be back in a jiffy. Everybody take a potty break.
and I'm back. Let me tell you, if you ever get a swimming pool, make sure you check the cost of stuff, because I mean, I tell you what, it's way more expensive than we ever thought it was going to be to do what we're doing right now. And we're getting some pretty good discount deals here. The pool light hasn't worked since we got here. It's like 750 bucks to replace the pool light. That's just a basic one. It's 1200 for an LED one, and if you want one that colors and stuff, it's even more than that. If it's just the light bulb, it's 170. <laughs> it's crazy. It's like, what is all this about? Uh, do I put? I don't. I shouldn't put doors here, right? Isn't there just an empty door frame, or is it always the box? Um, let's go to G. Let's go to doors. What are my options for doors? Oh, just door. Do we, we don't have just a simple. There's a sliding door, blast doors. There's this door that we already had. In our inventory, I just feel like a door there is a silly sci-fi sliding door. What's this one all about? Let's check this one out. This one's narrow. Narrower. Will you not... Oh, is this for a ship only? Yeah, this is for a ship, huh? Okay, so I, I don't think I can do that here. I placed it. <laughs> I don't think it's for this, though. The mine stairs, the railing. Hold on. Railing. Jeez. There I go again, hitting tab to uh, go to my inventory. Uh, railing. Railing, railing, railing. Is that the straight one? Railing straight. Okay, perfect. That's what we needed there. And am I on the white color? I am. Okay, perfect. Unable place running. Oh, you know what? I think there's the... Is there like an end railing that's... the f all the way around? Let's go back to railings again. Sorry, guys. Uh... There is no open-ended one that has got the piece that goes across here. It doesn't look like it. I wonder if I can get away with... That one's in there, right? The railing corner is in here. Railing corner. Okay, so if I take this one out, will this sit in here correctly? I don't know if it will. You always put that back. Yeah, see, that's got the railing on the inside there. You see? It's on the inside because we have... This block is consumed already, so we can't have a railing there. Unless I do that right there. Now, the thing is, is that this is now consuming the inside of this block, so I'm not going to be able to put anything, a railing on that side. It's so weird, because medieval engineers, you could um, compound build in that game. And I always thought Keen's game would be kind of similar when it comes to laying blocks like that, but it's not the case. Middle of Engineers was nice because you could occupy the same square with blocks all the way around it. If you compound build them. Okay, so... Do, 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 do. What do I do? What do I do? Any ideas? Any ideas? Any ideas here? We got a lot of work done. We got our whole catwalk put in today. We got ourselves a little, I don't know, <laughs> a little area here for something. You know, we could do something with this. I don't know what I'm going to do about this entrance way back here. I could just leave that open, but it seems incomplete to me when I do it this way. Needs something. Needs something there. A door or something. Uh, you know what? I think what it is is I've got... I'm not going to be able to put anything... I can put something in that space all the way back. I could do one of those bigger doors. 
the ones that almost look like airlocks. I could do those in here. And we'd be able to go in and out of that. Maybe that's what I do for the doors. But back out here for the railing, I've got a bit of an issue because, yeah, like this block is used right here. This block is used. I can't use that one. <sighs> I can move the staircase back one. And that would open up the block for us to be able to get in and out of here. And then I could just put a regular square block here and put the angle one here. And then we are able to, the staircase would start here and go down, which is fine. I'm not sure if we ever even need this. I just thought I'd leave it here because, you know, it's part of the, it's part of what I've been working on the whole time. The original entrance to the mine. I could do that. We could get rid of this. Oh, this is all for one railing, ladies and gentlemen. One railing. Let's go to number four. Uh, we need to switch the color around as well. He's learning. He's remembering these things now. <laughs> he can be taught. It's true. He can be taught. So if I do that, then I'm basically taking these guys out of here. Let's go ahead and stay up here if we can. There we go. And you. And then you. Alright, and then I'm going to have to get rid of you too. Oh, look at this. I got a block down here. It's not painted. There we go. We do that right there. Now, let's go to our stairs. Uh, there we go. Hitting tab for inventory again. Um, bum, 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 bum. What am I looking for? Stairs. Stairs, people. Stairs. We got to have some stairs in this place here. We do. We got to have them because they're cool. All right. Oh, I think I placed it right the first time. Oh my gosh. Okay, I can see right now I'm going to have to do a little bit of drilling here. Just a little bit of drilling. Oh! Something broke. Was it the stairs? All right. Oh, you guys, you guys are fine. You're not going to go anywhere. Okay, good, good, good. Okay, if I do that, now maybe I can get another set of stairs in here. It'll look okay. Hold on. Let's go back to the stairs. I got the wrong color on. I'm pretty sure that I do. Okay, we, we got, yeah, yeah, that's what we want. We do that, we do that. I don't mind a little dirt showing. There we go. Okay, now we do this, and then we take number four. We get ourselves the angle block. Nope. I gotta switch the color around again. Okay, we take number four, hit P, switch to green, do that right there, and then we're gonna go number eight, and we're gonna hit P again, and we're gonna go to white, and then we're gonna find the correct railing for us. Do, 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 uh, that's the center. We don't want that one. There we go. We're going to spin that all the way around because we don't know which button to hit right. We don't know which one it is. So you just never know. There's bound to be an easier way to do that, and I just don't know what it is yet. <laughs> it's, uh, there we go. Boink, and a boink. Oh, uh, unable, I know, because I'm standing in the way. I know, I know. There we go. Look at this. Look at this. We have a new entrance down to the mine. We now have space for a railing. This actually drops us off at the staircase right here at this. This is kind of nice. This actually looks pretty good like it was meant to be. And we go down here. 
You need some fixing? You do need some fixing, huh? I, I know, I hurt you. I hurt you when I was doing some drilling. There we go. We got it. We did it. Oh. This looks pretty great. I like this. Is there another way that I could place the door? Maybe the door could actually sit out here a little bit more. You know, until I place blocks, I don't know what it is I'm actually wanting to do. Let's take this door down and see if we can put it back in a different way. Grind it, grind it, grind it. And there you go, door. You just got zapped. Number nine. <laughs> I just don't know what I'm doing. Um, ooh, that might look better. How's that look on the inside of the wall then? Ooh, it lines up much better over here. Yeah, I think I like that better. It lines up really nice on the inside like that, nice and smooth. And on the outside, we've got a little bit of an indentation as you approach it. I like that. I like that a lot. Okay, that's cool. Let's get the other one swapped around too. Oh, I put this one on right. <laughs> Typical, right? we got one door inside, one door outside. Uh, what are you going to do with me? What are you going to do with me? Number five. Yeah, that's not going to work that way. Okay, just just fooling around. See if there's anything else I could do to it. Oh, the tinted glass looking out is nice. Oh my god, there is an entire like desert planet out there. Look at that thing. That's cool. I haven't taken the time to actually look up very often in here, you know? I love those doors. So why do they have a number on them? One and two. And I bet I could program those. Can I, can I program them to see me? So when I walk up to them, they open up. I don't know. Hmm, doesn't look like it. I'm trying to access just that panel right there, and it's not letting me do that. Those are awesome. I don't care that I have to push it with my, my regular... That I have to activate it every time. I don't care. Uh, by the time we get back together again for the next episode of Space Engineers, we will have uh, a start for our mining ship. I have it up high like that because I had an idea as to what a kind of a ship I wanted to build. But the more I think about it, the more I don't think it's going to work. I was going to call it the squid. And all the drills were going to face straight down beneath where I sit in the cockpit here. That way, if I went over the top of an oar and I could see that I was directly above it and the shortest distance to it, I could just drill straight down to it, straight back up, and then fly away, come back here and dock. The thing is, is once I drill, drill straight down with something that says, hey, maybe uh, five drills wrapped around it. Hey, Gypsy, hello. Uh, Snoop Dogg, hello. There are detectors that can be used to trigger an action. Detectors, okay. Radio Raid, Bit Dragon's in here. Gypsy, hello, hello. You, you caught us, and there's Cat. Hello, Cat. You caught me as I was uh, contemplating things. Anyway, so it's going to have like five drills beneath it. And then I, I got to thinking the other night. I thought, well, if I drill straight down on an ore, and I, 
once I get down there and I find the ore, once I drill that area out, that circle, I would literally have to go all the way to the top again and drill a second hole to mine anything that's going to be next to that initial hole that I drilled. More or less basically what, what has happened here, you know. Each time I went down, I skimmed off a little bit more each time. Just a little bit more each time on the way down. And I would add like, I've got three drills down there now, I was adding six drills. And I would drill a chunk, bring it back up, disassemble it, push it out, drill down again. Now what I did was I put this piston on here, so this piston can actually push this out in a way. And eventually what I could do is I could put some pistons, a piston here, and I could push this hillside back even more if I want to. What I think I really want to do, let's go down, down below here since we've got that kind of wrapped up today. Eww. Turn on my light. Hey. Hey. Where's my light? My light on. What I thought would be really cool is that, okay, now I've got another 30 meters on this piston right here to push these guys down. 30 meters is a pretty good distance. They're going to go down. It's going to create a bigger hole. And then what I want to do is I want to chop away at this and, and bring these back over to this side here and bring them down and do the same thing I've been doing. But it's going to be easier now that I've got this uh, side piston that's going, you know, horizontally here. So if I do that, I could possibly, somebody brought up the comments and I was thinking about a flying ship and they said a, a rover. We could build a rover down here, put drills on it, and we could just drive around. We could drive in and drill out areas when we're down here. I thought that would be kind of cool. Should we do some drilling real fast before we run out of time? I've got 20, I've got 20 minutes that I'm going to keep going here, but uh, I would love to have you guys um, see the drills. Boop! Ouch! Okay, so if I go, boom, and I go to my control panel, and I take my drills, and I hold down shift, I get all of them. Get them all together. Now, I can't hear nothing up here, but trust me, there they are. You can see them. You can see them. Oh, ouch. <laughs> okay. You can see them. Now, I'm going to send this down as far as it'll go. Let's see just how far it goes. Did I turn off my jet? My dampeners? Oh. Oh, my God. What is going on here? Okay, now I don't have my dampeners on. Okay, okay. <laughs> I'm just awful at this game. Anybody who's played this for a long time, I don't know how they would sit there and watch me play this. They're going to be like, this guy is just awful. I'll come back and watch him in two years when he finally figures it out. <laughs> That's what I feel like anyways. I feel like I'm torturing people by having them watch me play this. <laughs> That's right, torture. Torture. Okay, so I left the drill zone. Now, I have no idea which drill is which at the moment because I took them out and kept taking them out. So let's go ahead and go to control panel. I don't know. I should say piston. I don't know which piston is which. Uh, and we want to make sure our maximum velocity. I'm going to go down to a negative one on both pistons. This way, no one's going to be going too fast anywhere, and I can go check on things and see how it's going. Uh, negative one. There we go. Now, I hit reverse on this one. Which one is that? That's that one. Okay, so that was number two. We want to put that one back. Uh, piston, uh, and hit reverse. Make sure that's going back in. All right, good. You know, actually, what we could do, we could send that off to the side like that. and It'll scrape out this hole nice and smooth-like. Maybe I'll do that first. Just by, just by sliding it across there, it should dredge that hole really nicely. So let's go ahead and do that. Piston number four. Go ahead and feel... Go ahead and reverse. Do it. Do it up. Do it up, buddy. I'm not going to be able to go the full 30 meters, though. I don't know that that's actually taking any, any material at all. Yeah, I, I'm going to have to stop it because 30 meters would be too much. But we'll try this and we'll... We'll, well, I'm going to send it back now. We've got a little bit of it drilled. I'll see if that did anything to it down there. It sounds to me like it's not picking up much material due to the fact that I can hear... 
this guy uh, kicking on and off. So we only got through the first part of that piston before it. Uh, we still had two more of those gaps to go. Let's go. What am I doing here? Um, waiting for that piston to go back in all the way. So let's go back into control panel. Let's go piston four. Let's do um, piston horizontal. And then we've got piston vertical. Okay. Should be able to go back in here. Control panel, piston vertical. We want you to do a reverse on us now. And now let's go down and see what it's doing. Woohoo! Drill, baby, drill. Mm -hmm. Look at that juiciness happening right there. Nice and easy, nice and slow. You don't have any of that, that shaking going on with the pistons and stuff like that. It's just going nice and easy. Now we're going to wind up with a little bit probably because we are actually hitting a little more material as we go down. There should be a nice iron chunk right underneath that. That is so cool, isn't it? I love the animation of that. It's well, well done. The hinge on the drill. Pamphy's talking about putting a hinge on the drill so you can swing it. I've seen that as well. I watched a guy named Splitzy. I don't know if you guys have seen him, but he does space engineers. He's very, very, very good at it. And I've seen him where he puts the hinge on the piston and he can extend the piston a little bit and with the drills on it and then he can kind of swing it in kind of a swing motion with that hinge and just scrape off a little bit at a time and it's very effective. Yeah, Splitzy is awesome. Thank you. I would agree with you. Capac makes me laugh so hard and so yeah, I've been watching some of those just to, you know, he's a good teacher. He's a good teacher. I'm not a good teacher. I just... I, I guess my imagination. You guys like to hang out with me, so I will appreciate that. But I don't have any skills other than that when it comes to the games. Look at that, man. That's a lot of iron down there. You see that? That's pure iron. Pure iron juice right down there. Mm -hmm. And we are only... Well, we're two out of the three down. So the third one's just starting. So we've gone down 20 so far. Oh man, look at all that material down there. And it's, again, it stretches this way across the mountain, all the way across this mountain here. So I built a drill rover down here. And then we put we put drills on front of a rover. We could drive it across underground here and then have a connector down here attached to the pipes. We bring the, the rover back, the drill rover back. We hook it up to the connector. All the items get pumped to the top. Bada boom, bada bing. That's a really fun thing to do. Wouldn't you agree? I do. I think it'd be really fun. Have an underground car with drills on it. Come on, that's pretty cool. And we need a flying one so we can go to the other locations to, of course, get our stuff. Our other resources that we're going to need. Right now, I've been kind of focused on just the iron for the steel plates and stuff. And control panel. Piston vertical. Reverse. Now that is going to bring it back up. And I think that is just so much fun. The other thing I could do here in, in, eventually is I could put pistons facing them this way down here as well. And we could bore out a huge chunk of this even more. This is where we were doing hand drilling before. Holy crap, man, that iron goes down there a ways. We did hit stone again, it looks like. But for the iron, it's it's a big old chunk of it down here. That's pretty sweet. I love that. Yes, that one, Patty, Pam, are you talking about um, the, the rover underground? Driving around, drilling, and hooking up to a connector, and dropping all the stuff off and it gets sucked up on top it goes into everything it's supposed to go into and we build an amazing ship and we fly into space and 
We find an asteroid that looks amazing, and we build a space station on it. One of you guys were saying in the comments, too, that you like to build your space stations just in the void of space. Yes, that one. So let's see. Okay, yes. That's what I'm saying. You watch him, but he knows exactly what he's doing. And it's got to be like, you watch somebody like me, this this buffoon, this uh, noob at the whole game. It, it, it could be, I can see where it could be a little frustrating watching someone like me. But hopefully everyone has fun with the... Uh, the radio moments that are going to occur <laughs> so very often. <laughs> uh, whatever, you know, what? as long as you're having fun, doesn't matter. As long as you're having fun. So now I figure what I'll do is I'll take this and I'll push this out. I'll probably work on this tonight a little bit too. I'll push this out a few meters and then have it go back down again and again and again and again and again. And I'll probably shave this all the way off as far as I can get it and shave this off really nice and we should have enough space down here to eventually build uh, a little drill rover that'd be cool a drill rover okay you know what I can do is I can actually access you guys right there control panel don't drill yourself radio don't you do it there we go oh my god would you look at that Oh, that is awesome, man. Look at how far down we are now. If we, Yeah, if we chisel this out. The other thing I thought about with the rover, if we put hinges on the drills, we could adjust those ever so slightly. And as we drive, uh, if it's angled upwards, we could dig a tunnel out of the ground up to the surface, a very gradual one that would be easy to drive the vehicle in and out if need be. That could be exciting as well. You know, it's a little things in life, but you know, sometimes that's all we got, right? So it's going to be fun. I think that'll be really cool. So since I've got a little bit more time with you here, let's go ahead and push this out. Let's push this one out a little bit more. So we're going to go to the control panel, and we're going to go piston horizontal, and we want it to maximum distance. Right now it's going the. oh, I guess it's total of 10 meters, not 30 meters. I'm sorry. I thought it was 30 meters total, but the maximum distance is 10 meters. So what if we go one meter? Is that even enough? I don't think that, I don't think that, I don't think that hardly did anything. No, I need to do more than that. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh. Still learning how to fly. Um, horizontal. Maybe it's it's. I go three meters. Okay, you're not going out. You're, I've reversed you again, so I need to actually tell you to go horizontal. Oh, the horizontal one is what I'm supposed to be working on. Let's go three. Is it even moving? I don't feel like it's moved at all. Am I going too... Am I being too... Uh, gentle with us here? I'm using the wrong increments? What do you mean? What do you mean, Logic Crow? Uh, where is, uh, there we go. Using the wrong increments. Okay, control panel, piston horizontal. Maximum distance. This is, means the maximum distance in which it's going to... God, 
you know what? Screw it. Let's just eyeball. Oh, it's it's moving now. Okay, it's closed. You're using tenths of a meter. Oh, 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 oh. Am I now? So is this not the right thing to use? What happens if I go five? This is how I have to learn things. I have to just make it happen. That's no good. Oh. That might actually work right there. I might wind up with a little bit of a line here though, huh? So if I go and do f do four. Control, uh, control panel, horizontal. Uh, did you go back the four? Let's turn the drills on. Let's drill it again. And piston, vertical, reverse. How are we looking? Three meters is about ten feet. I guess so. Three meters is three six. That's nine feet, almost ten feet. Okay. Logic. I thought the point zero one is what I'm using for the speed with which the pistons actually deploy. Keeps them moving slower. Let's go in here real quick. Looks like I did grab that, that ridge right there. That is a ton of resource for us coming in when it comes to the iron. I'm happy that I'm using drills to do this and I'm not using the drill in my inventory and the fact that I have a higher carrying capacity. Somebody mentioned that in the comments too recently that having a higher carrying capacity means you might not be quite as quick to jump to making a drill ship or a weld ship or any of those kind of things and I could see where that could be uh, a dealio so that's why I want to make sure I'm using the things you're supposed to as you progress along. These are the things that are going to help you get the job done faster is the machines you build, which is just amazing. And if I can have a nice little platform down here to um, build a rover that we can use underground to, to drill with a rover, that would be sweet. But we do need a ship so we can fly off to get the silicon, the magnesium, the gold, the silver, uh, the cobalt, all that other stuff. So we'll come up with a nice small grid, a little mini drill ship that we can go off and have some fun flying around and, you know, do some drilling underground, maybe crash, burn, blow up, you know, all those good things. <laughs> Sounds like a good time. Uh, let's go back to the pistol. I leave the drills running until it goes above the material. That way, if there's anything left over, voxels or stuff like that, I'll just kind of clean them up as it comes up. 
Seeker likes the idea. Sounds fun and entertaining. I hope so. We'll get to space eventually. Uh, unknown signal, 2.4 meters away. We'll see how this drilled out the whole bottom here real quick. I'm, I'm curious to see if I hit that all right or if I need to adjust what I'm doing. Managed to go right through all the iron into the stone. I could stand here and watch this stuff do this all day long. It's so cool. Hmm. I may have to back it up a little bit and send it down again to get kind of a smoother floor going on down there. I want a nice smooth surface down here when I do build that rover. That's a cool screenshot right there. The sun coming in like that? That's awesome. Beautiful. Grab our drills. How'd we do down here? Mm. Yeah, we've got a little bit of a ridge here, huh? I'm gonna need to get that. I'm gonna have to send those drills down again, but pull them back just a hair. Have them skim off this again over here. I missed it just by a hair, so that's no big deal. I can do that on my own. We'll do that on my own. I just wanted to operate the drills a little bit with you guys. I know that's nothing fancy, but it's it's kind of one of my first attempts at doing something like this and trying to be somewhat engineery, <laughs> if that's even a word. Somewhat engineery with the drills. Yep. Oh, yeah. Open up. Oh, see, I can come in here now. I don't have to get wet and listen to the rain fall on me. Perfect. It's just perfect. Thank you. And I should probably add a light or two in here, huh? Let's go G. Let's do the light. Let's do a couple of lights real quick before I call it a night with you guys here. A light. There's so many to choose from. I've been kind of using this little guy here. Uh, no. Thank you. Back again. There we go. We'll put that one there. And can I put you on here? There we go. And then we probably should have one in the middle of the room. One, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> you know, it, it would be me who would make an even room. Uh, but that's okay. We're going to put a light. Oh, we should put a light over here, actually. Oh, I can't put them there because it's not going to sit on those blocks right there. Because it's going to be a pain in the buttocks. That's just a shadow there, so we'll just put one right there. We'll do that three times. Swish. Oh, we can right here. Light. A light. I want you guys to be able to see. It's you know, it's real easy when you're playing to forget to turn your light on because you're familiar with your world and you're familiar with playing and you know you just don't need it but when you're recording or streaming you've got to have the light so this way if I forget to turn my light on at least there is light in the building to, to hopefully brighten up our area a little bit it's not too shabby it's it, it is sunny out too there's not rain coming through that window is there no okay I don't think so look at there Okay, there. We've got our mining operation looking a little bit more minery. We'll do some extra decorative stuff in there. I'm not worried about it at the moment. Uh, I've just been kind of thinking, what else can I do? we got our catwalk installed today, tonight, during the stream, which is cool. To all the batteries and all the uh, wind turbines. We have a little bit more of a established living quarters. I put this on before the episode started. This is kind of an area for us to, you know, if we want to get in this command seat, we can do this over here. And it gives us a little bit of a barrier in case something were, you know, shooting at this area. You'd have a little, you know, little duck and cover. And it also operates as a holding up the staircase that leads up to our, of course, mining area. 
Uh, it was suggested too in comments that maybe what we do is we start our staircase that I was talking about going all the way down to the mine. We start it kind of right here and, and we could just kind of loop around and go down. That could be cool. Or I may start it from where we have our mine entrance right there as well. We could do it down there as also. So I haven't decided yet, but that's something we can do in the future. Uh, the other thing we didn't really get to tonight, and I really thought we were, was going to be getting this organized and figured out why materials aren't passing through. See, I thought that we've got a refinery here and a refinery here, assembler, assembler, cargo, cargo. These guys are all butted up against each other with the, um, the ports. I thought if this refinery filled up, things would spill over into this refinery. When these refineries are full, things will spill over into the cargo containers. Is that not the case? Do I have to have this refinery running to a assembler and that assembler running to a cargo container? And the same thing goes for that refinery to a different assembler to a different cargo container so that each of these refineries, each of these assemblies and each of these cargo containers are operating on uh, a single. The, the three of them operate together. Those refinery, assembler, cargo container, those three units work together and they're piped together. If I do that, I think if I put a T-junction at the top, this is what I'm thinking I need to do. So if I put a T-junction up here at the top, I could one run line that would come over here and go boink, and then over... Uh, the assemblers are just grabbing material when I sell them to make I don't think I have to actually hook up an assembler it's the cargo containers I think if I put a t-junction say here right here at this this elbow and then I run a pipe into this one and then I run a second pipe and then from that pipe it run it over to the first cargo container say and then from the, the second from the other side of the t-junction I run it all the way down and I hook it up into the other cargo container they should see each each other separately is that right that's what i'm thinking i need to do and that's what i'm going to try tonight um after after hours i'm going to try that out and see if it works i think that's what was being said to me there's also something somebody said a sorter let's, let's check the search here real quick i really appreciate you guys coming in here tonight and helping me out and hanging out with me sorter industrial conveyor sorter Sorters can be used to filter out unwanted materials or to collect specific items in a container. Mm-hmm. I see. I see. So basically what I could do is I could have a refinery with a sorter on it that says, okay, in this refinery, all you do is put stone and iron. I could put a sorter on the next one that says, okay, all that comes in here is cobalt and silver. Look up the sensor to automate the door. Good idea. So I'm thinking that's what that guy is for. If I remember that, I had those the last time I played. And we were building kind of a cliffside base. I was using those. And I had refineries. I had like three refineries or something dividing the work up. So I'll look into those two. And the other thing was uh, Snoop Dodge here. Doge is uh, said a sensor. A sensor. Okay. So a sensor. Sensors can be set up to activate ship systems when they detect players ships or asteroids within a limited range oh really oh he sounds fun he sounds really fun to your plate huh ah Oop. so what do I do oh are you kidding me look at that that's the light shining through there <laughs> what? Hey! Who's putting the nubbins on my walls? Uh, what if I put a light? Can I put a light? No, I can't put a light there, of course, because that's kind of silly, huh? That the, that little nubbin shows through there? Oh, that should almost just erase itself and not be part of it. That's kind of a bummer. Now, if I put this on the ground, it could see me as I walked over it. Is that right? Could I do that, Snoop? Or is it better off on a wall? Oh, my gosh. Um...
what a can of worms we've just opened up here. Let's 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 just let's see if I can like yeah, all the components with withdrawn. Sensor. Oh my god, back extent, front extent, audible, proximity alert. Detect players on, detect floating objects on, detect small ships. How does it know what door to look at? I mean, how does it know to look at that door? Do I have to put it in here from a block group? On the ceiling or wall above? Okay, so it's not going to work down here. I can't just step on it and have it open up, huh? Thanks, Chinwag. Chinwag says he enjoys watching the world develop more than playing it himself. Thank you. Awesome. You guys are such great supporters. Oh, okay. So I need that on a wall, huh? Or something above me. The ceiling or the wall above. Okay. Well, it's not going to sit on those walls because that's just a thin wall. I was thinking right now what I could possibly do is take out that center one right here that's got the light on it. I could take that out. I could turn it into, I could turn those into half blocks, you know, slabs. I could turn all these into slabs. We we'll still have the issue out here where it's not going to stick to this side. It's going to stick on the inside. Hmm. Hmm. I love it. I love these challenges. This is such good stuff. It's really, it's really enjoyable. I found myself lost in here for quite a few hours on my own, just really enjoying myself playing the game. It's been really cool. Uh, I've gone over. But uh, thanks, Snoop. If you could, yeah, get me the information, that'd be great. Now I'll look into it too and see if I can find some information on Sensor. I'm sure there's, uh, Splitsy's probably got a video out there on, or something on it as well. And I'll take a look at that. But he's he's the guy I've been kind of going to to look stuff up and say, okay, so how do you do this? Just so I don't look like a complete idiot when I go in here. And when I look like a complete idiot, then I ask you guys for help. And it's been working out just great. So I want to thank you guys for being here for tonight. I really appreciate that. Hope everyone uh, enjoys watching from home as well when uh, over the weekend. Because I'll, again, post this in its entirety uh, up on YouTube as soon as it's done uh, doing the processing thing. And we'll... We'll have it up and running, and you guys can watch it over the weekend. And we'll resume again next week, because this is what I'm doing right now full-time, is just making content for you guys. And hopefully, uh, it seems so far, everyone's enjoying it very much. So I appreciate everybody being here tonight uh, with all the help. And uh, I'll let you know how the pool goes. I'm going to be taking pictures of it tomorrow while they're working on it. So uh, if you follow me on Twitter, uh, you'll be able to see some of that stuff too. I kind of tweet every now and again, off and on, when there's things going on in my life that... Uh, I find uh, very interesting. The pool has been quite the interesting thing that's been going on. Uh, but uh, yeah, so anyways, have a great weekend, everybody. And uh, we'll, uh, we'll be back at it again next week. I do have a Star Sands video coming out. I had one today. I've got another one for tomorrow as well. And then, of course, this will be up for the weekend. And we'll, we'll start all over again on Monday. I got the dentist. Ugh, gross. But it's been a while since we've been to the dentist. So anyways, um, uh, have a great night. Again, have a great weekend, and uh, you know, we'll talk to you again next time.